I'm going to secure this on the side of the box, this rubber piece in the slot. I'm going to be connecting the right machine to the right control card. First, I'm going to go ahead and make, connect the easy things. You have this piece, four wires coming into a wire harness, and you have four pins. You can only connect on there one way. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that. Next, I'll go ahead and connect this green and yellow wire. And that's going to go right there beside this blue wire on that male pin coming off the control cord. Once that's connected, these three wires are going to go on the first three pins on this green terminal here. What, how it's going to go is you're going to go number seven in the first slot, number eight in the second slot, and number six here. These wires are labeled. I don't know if you can see that. So number six on this wire. And then there'll be a number eight and number seven on this wire. And a number eight on this wire. make that connection. Now I have those wires connected. That's all you have to do. The right machine is hooked up and if you put power to it right now it would run and be good to go. So now we're going to do the left machine. And you can see there's the four pins, here's your male pin, and here's your green terminal. Uh, and they've got nothing on them. So we're going to get the cords from the left machine. And we'll do the same thing. Go ahead and can make your connection. Just go ahead and uh, secure the things to just slide right in first. Just a little bit easier and get the easy stuff out the way. Now I've got everything hooked up for the left machine. We should be good to go. Now you'll have two power cables. and we will connect them to power. Now I've got these machines hooked up to power and now the control box is powered up. Next we need to connect our on off decock box which has this five pin plug here that will connect on the bottom of this control box. This connection uh, the plugs will only plug in one way uh, it's got the groove there on the bottom um, we just, uh, our rule of thumb is plug them in screw to screw. Now we're almost ready. We can cock the machines and load the machines. They have to be on, on the cover here. So, you have left machine and right machine. I'm trying to get this thing to clear up so you can see it. But anyhow, right machine, left machine. Now when you switch this on, should be getting... Okay, had a loose connection. Uh, didn't have my strips plugged in all the way inside, so got it all uh, hooked up now and good to go. On the face of this, we've got it uh, with both of our switches in the on position. You got this switch over here and the, what's the mode position, which is the mode, uh, that's the position you'll keep it in for the most part anytime you're going to uh, have it set up ready to throw targets. So then you got your remote decock box, you would cock your machines, uh, you have to quickly press it for the decock and then into the on position and the machines will cock and load. I've got machine set up here, machine set up here. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and plug in our pull cord. The pull cord is going to plug in right here on the back. 
Now we've got a pull cord hooked up. We'll be ready to go and now it'll throw target. Now when you're done for the day, you throw in all the targets you'd like. You come down, pump in the decock. And now your arm is stuck out to the side, which means it's in the safe mode and it's safe to either load targets or work on it, whatever you need to do. You want to put it in the decocked mode there uh, anytime you have to do anything like that. Now there are settings on this box, uh, on this switch here, which tell you kind of which position a switch should be in for single, double, or random. The way I was throwing it earlier, it was in doubles, and so every time you pull it, it's going to throw double. Now if you want single, you flip it up to single, it'll throw just singles. You throw it up to random, well now it's going to throw it at random to where it's going to, uh, it'll just pick between, it may throw doubles, it may throw a single, it may throw just the right bird, may just throw just the left bird. Uh, so it'll do it at random that way. Now, uh, this is going to be more so like if somebody's down in the house trying to work on it, but it does have a test mode. And when you got it in test mode, it bypasses your decock box, which you're not, you wouldn't use it because this is your decock box will be mounted on the outside of your house. Uh, generally, that's where they put it. Um, so it'll be mounted off outside. So if you're down in the house, you're going to want to be able to use this. So now, if you want to decock the machine, cock the machines, you want to look at them and see what's going on with them. Where you're going to uh, use the left uh, machine switch, and now you see it will cock and load the left bird. And then you can decock it while you're down in the house. Also, if you switch them both on, and you can press your touch button, and it'll release the birds. Uh, from inside the house. I have the setting set on random so it threw two out of the out of the right bird and didn't throw anything out of the left. Threw a double that time. Now I'm just gonna switch it to doubles. And now I'm just hitting the test button on the control box. Now when you're done with that you Bump the uh, switches down into the spring-loaded position, the uncock position, and now your machines are cleared and good to go.